Hey everybody, this is Steve. Saw this post on Chief Talk today by user JD. And he later in the post posted his plan and had some good questions. And I thought, this is a perfect plan to use as an example of uh, how to work on this roof and get things done for people who aren't experts at roofs. And um, <clears throat> I don't really know exactly what he wants to accomplish, but just from some of the comments in the post, uh, I thought I'd show what I think he wants to do. Okay, here's his plan. And um, the, when I work on a roof, I don't want to work on the working plan view, which is what he's got here. And actually, I don't even like to see the roof in my working plan view all the time. I might turn it on occasionally. Same with the baseline polylines. So I'll just turn that off in my view here. The other thing I can't stand is this grid line. I, I mean, that's a personal preference, but I don't need to see the uh, the reference grid. Just bothers my eyes. It's just me personal. That's a personal thing. You guys can do whatever you want. So I would save this working plan view as that. You see how I just clicked up here and it saves it. Now, I like to work in the roof plan view. And in this view, I turn on um, what I want to see. So I'm going to go to the layer for this roof plan layer set, and I'm going to turn overhang off. It's usually locked. You can't really do anything with it anyway, so why look at it? The other thing I would do is roof planes. I would change the color to something easily seen. I like to use a purple or a blue or whatever, and maybe change the line weight to 50. And on the roof plan view, I want to see a solid line. And um, invisible walls, you might want to turn those on. So you can see what's uh, where the walls all are, etc. And the other thing I'm going to do is delete these temporary points. And he used that for something. But then I would save this view right here. The other thing I would do is lock the wall layers, I would, I guess, just lock all these. And then <clears throat> windows, I turn them off. Doors, turn them off. Uh, probably, I don't know if you turn them off if you have to lock like here. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. The other thing is room, so you don't constantly select them. You might want to lock that layer. Now you're not clicking on things and the only thing you can get is your roof. It makes it a lot easier. Now one thing he mentioned now that we've got everything set up the way we want it. Um, the one thing he mentioned was he wants this ridge line to run all the way through. So let's work on that. And what would you do? Well, the first thing I would do here is get rid of this roof. And I'm just going to get rid of these roofs right here and this hip roof. And I'm going to use the Q key and just draw a line right here. And that is, for some reason, he's using a, a degree instead of a pitch, but I'm not going to change that. That's maybe what he wants. So, And then I drag this roof over to here, and I would drag this roof over to here. And then I would hit the 2 key and click there. And there you go. That's where your main ridge is going to be. And then use the three key and break this roof right here. Drag this down. And then this roof here is another one. I would just delete it, hit the Q key, create a roof here, drag this roof all the way over to here and over to this wall. Then hit the two and hit the two and just click there and join those roofs. Now you probably don't want this on here this far. So let's just make this, I don't know, 16 inches. And then just drag this one to that. And um, same over here. Let's just make this 16 inches for now. Now we got the, the underlying basics coming together here pretty well. Um, but you got these roofs here. They're kind of screwed up. So I just delete this. And 
um, I guess I would copy this and reflect it about. And then I would take my three key and break it right here. Break it at the ridge and break it right here. Pull this back. And then click on this edge, hit the two key and join those roofs. Join this roof. And there you go. You got this gable coming all the way through. Now the clumsy part comes in over here at the garage. And um, what I would do is I'm just going to delete this roof and make things simple and copy and reflect this around. I have a hotkey for that, so I'm sorry I went too quick maybe on that. And then take your three and break it right here. And pull this around. And then take your three and break it right there where they join. Break it here at the ridge. Pull this back. Click on this edge. Hit two and join these. Okay. And then the same here, but where to do it? Well, break it at the wall. And then break it right here in the middle. And pull this down like that. And then hit it two and hit two. I mean, you don't have to hit it again. You got it. Here you got this. Just click on the two and then click here. It'll join. It'll seam automatically. And so we got this coming together pretty well. Um, let's just take a look at that end of the house. So that's how that's going to look. And uh, it's looking pretty good. You got gable wall missing right there. And we got this end of the house to work on. So let's let's work on that. We got this roof and this roof and this roof. And we have to join this right here. So again, take your three key. Break it here. Break it at the ridge. Break it over here. Then pull this back. And then this roof, well, this roof requires a little extra, a little extra work. Break it here and pull this around. And then I think this should join right here. There you go. And this one should join right here. Now this is sticking way out. Just break it right here at the wall and pull it over. Now, in reality, this roof, since it's an open porch, will actually build under this roof. So I would just take this and pull it back till it's square here and pull it back to the wall. And then I would break it out here at the wall and pull this up to on top of the wall here. And then same goes for this one we would pull it back till it's square and pull it to the wall. Um, you can do this a number of ways, but I think this is how it would actually be built. And then break this one here at the wall and pull it up to here. And this creates <clears throat> some issues we'll, we'll look at here in a minute. But let's just take a look and see what we've accomplished back here. And there. And so you get your vault. And um, it's not perfect. And see what's happening here is the roof is cutting off the um, attic wall. We got to fix that. And But this roof here is built under this roof here. So this roof is underneath everything right now. So what we need to do here is click on this line, then hit this tool and click down here so that it joins them together. And then straighten this out a little. And then this roof will just come to the gable end right here. And um, then this roof joins this roof. Then use the three key here and join this roof to this roof. Pull this over. And um, let's take a look here. It's coming together. 
so there's the front and now at least you have a gable all the way through and I think we need to do the same thing to this porch as we did in the back so what I think needs to be done here actually is this roof needs to come back to here let's just de delete this one Oops. copy and reflect and then take this roof and use the three key again and break it here, 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 pull it back and then break it here and then take this line and use the two key and join it here. There you go. Break it here, two key and join it here. Ah, I figured it out. And the nice thing about that is it gives you your nice clean porch look. And um, we have to fix that right there. Pretty simple. Just click on this line, take your three key, break it right at the wall and pull this over. Oops, not square. And click here, three key. and take a look so it's coming together pretty well um, you got issues with your attic walls and things like that which I I'm not going to go into but I just wanted to give you an, an idea on how to do this roof and see there's a gable uh, attic wall missing right there and it, if we go up to the attic level and hit the F9 key and turn on attic walls because they're not on and unlock them. <clears throat> this can be pulled back to here and then see this gable end wall built automatically right there and uh, let's see here. There you go. And uh, again, I think here on this roof, what you're seeing is that the roof structure is nine and a quarter, which might be OK, because, I mean, if you're going to have this vaulted ceiling, um, but you're going to have to change your um, trim work because it's only seven and a quarter. So I would make this maybe 12 or something. And I don't know. Maybe this needs to be nine and a quarter or something and see what happens here. There you go. Yeah, still not great. I think it's the, um, maybe there's no soffit. I'm not real sure, but uh, I don't want to go into all that right now, but you, you get the picture on the roof and um, I hope that helps.